this is one more absolute value problem. Um, that's something similar to uh, the previous one I did, but um, this one is a fraction. It's just that your variable over 7, that variable, in this case, we have n, it could be x, it could be p, it can be any letter inside of here, but this is what we're going to try to solve. And again, absolute value, what you're going to do is you're going to set it for positive, which is set right here, and also for negative, so you're going to get two answers. So let's go ahead and I'm going to move this down to show you how I did the problem. Okay. Okay, here we go. What I'm doing here is the first thing I need to do is get rid of the absolute value. So as far as the bar, so I have one, it's going to be equal to negative 4, which is right here, and also one to equal to 4. And here we go. Uh, this was actually n over 7. I multiplied both sides by 7. Okay. So uh, the reason why I did that is I wanted to clear that fraction out. So you multiply both sides by 7. It'll actually be 7n over 7. The 7 is reduced down. And 4 times 7 is 28. 7 times negative 4, because remember we set this to negative 4, it's negative 28. We've got two answers. The variable n is equal to negative 28 and 28.